Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double, and today I want to address a couple of the questions that I got on Facebook when I shared the video about the Mosky Saul 918, a killer little 5-in-1 unit being that it has its own loop that you can add pedals post-gain, pre-delay, and reverb. Great unit. I did a video about it. I'll link it right above me here. Killer unit. I really liked it. Last year, I was all about the Guitaria Cube Baby. And both of these units really offer different things. Although they look similar, the Guitaria is more of an all-in-one unit that you can record directly into your computer with or get tones or use with an amp, etc., etc. With three presets, the Mosky has no presets, no software, nothing like that. It's just got good old overdrive distortion, delay, and reverb. Some of the most usable effects, in my opinion. So, what I want to do is just see how they work together, you know, because they're different. They're a little bit different. They're not the same. They offer different things. So, I'm going to run through what the Mosky offers, what the Guitaria offers, and then kind of not really give you tonal comparisons because there's not too many things to compare. I am going to just kind of explain some of the feature sets of both of them to see which one may be good for you and if they work well together. Because honestly, when you think about it, it's a perfect pair. So that's just the guitar right into an interface. Plinky, you know, I, I've done uh, videos on both of these pieces. The big differences between the Mosky Saul 918 and something like the Guitaria Cube Baby or other comparable products is going to be that this, it's going to rely on other things like, say, a preamp pedal and a cabinet IR pedal, or even work with your amplifier combo or, or your head and cabinet setup. Uh, that's what these are kind of emulating at that point. This has no preamp emulation and it has no cabinet emulation. It has two drive stages, a real dirty sound and a, a, a cleaner sound that can get pretty dirty. It also has delay and reverb just like the Guitaria Cube Baby has uh, a, a delay section, which also has a modulation section within it, which the Mosky does not have. It has no modulation, has no phaser, but you can add your own modulation. You could plug one in before. You could go into your guitar, into your modulation, and then into here in order to send your modulation into distortions. Or you can insert it here in the effects loop and then just make sure you have the effects loop on and then your modulations come after gains and then before delay and reverb or, or, or put it after all that stuff. However you want, this is kind of designed to, to work with other things and if you're going to do direct recording, you really need other guys, uh, other items like that or, or your amplifier and some microphones and such. Whereas the Guitaria... It has built-in Bluetooth, it has uh, cabinet simulation, and it has preamp section. So you can download your own IRs into this unit, or you can just use the ones that are in here. It has nine different preamps. Now, preamps can be like distortions, but some of these are, are pretty clean. So in order for me to go direct and get a decent sound, I want to make sure that at some point I have... Uh, the cabinet and preamp simulation on. So right now, this Guitaria is doing the same as, say, this Flamma preamp pedal if it was in cabinet mode. Blinking is one mode, not blinking is the other. Uh, and then you have your, your Coral Cab, which would be the cabinet IR section. One thing to consider is the reverb is linked to this IR cabinet. Now, this also has presets. The Guitaria has presets. I can save three sounds. Oh, with all of the settings being retained there, the, the, the master volume or whatever, preamp you pick and whatever I are, you know, that's, then you save and you get three separate presets in the Guitaria. It takes some tweaking. It's not just a plug and play kind of thing, especially if you want to go into an amplifier 
because those gains might not really sound exactly the way you think they're going to sound. So, and then you're probably going to want to turn off the the cabinet IR if you're going right into an amp. This is really quick to just throw into an amplifier setup or to add to uh, an already existing recording setup that you have or to use in conjunction with the guitar. You can use this and these or this and these together and I can clean it up with my volume on the guitar. Right. So, and you know that right now is doing what this and this would be doing. It's a completely different preamp sound, so it's going to sound completely different. But that's in essence what I've got going on. Is this is these two pedals, just different, and you can run through all the different all the different preamps. See, some of them are cleaner, so you can't really rely on that to be a distortion, but you can set it up to be a distortion. So let's set it up like an amp. So if that was my preamp sound, now I could add a little bit of overdrive here. Add some distortion here and you can hear these are clicky whereas this is not so that's something to consider too if you like one or the other you know some things I like the soft touch on some things I really like to feel this click on this thing I really like to feel this click this I think needs a soft touch because you have you kind of move back and forth between presets that way so I can now work with With the two of these together, and say I don't like the reverb here. This has a really nice spring kind of reverb. Let me spin that delay off. So the Mosky is modeling four things. It's modeling a distortion pedal, the Sir Riot. It's modeling an overdrive, King of Tone, right? Uh, it's modeling a Maleko reverb, spring reverb, and a Mad Professor analog delay. So you got four modeled pedals in one unit here, whereas here in the guitaria you have nine preamps, and then you have, uh, un, you know, at least nine IR cab spots, and and you can add your own. So, this is really kind of like an all-in-one recording device. You can listen to your music with. You can record out directly to a phone, and and interface with things. It's it's kind of its own little standalone thing to use by itself. I've run this into, into amps and into the returns and of amps, and it sounds good, you know, doing it that way. This kind of way, adding to it, is really cool because then you can have a preamp sound. You can dial up your favorite sound, you know. And then I can really drive it with some more distortion. I can stack them. And that's something you can't do with the guitar alone. You really kind of can't stack this. It's only one drive, so it's not really stackable. You could add a distortion pedal, sure, you know, of course. You could add whatever you want. But as far as what these do, this is kind of its own little thing. It's a standalone unit that you can interface right into a computer and, and quickly get sounds. You can throw IRs into it. As you can see, it's much smaller than the Mosky. The Mosky is well spaced for live. It's got these four switches, whereas the Guitaria only has three switches. Also well spaced. I, I don't find myself hitting both of them at the same time. And if I need to hit both of them at the same time on both units, I can pretty much do so. They're about the same amount of space. But you have really uh, kind of just standalone units here that need some other stuff to work with in the Mosky. Whereas with the Guitaria, it's 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 its own thing. You know, it, and and can be incorporated into this Mosky really easily by using this effects loop. So here's just the Mosky, you know, 
real quiet, hardly has any life to it because there's no preamp, no cabinet. Add the, add the guitar ear to it. So as you see, there's the difference, and here's just the drive. You know, and let's add some... You know, that's without hitting a preamp, those things just kind of sound nasty by themselves. So you need a preamp or you need an amplifier. Between the two of them, that's a decent little rig for a hundred bucks, right? That these two together, they work well, you know? preamp on the guitar. You can hear the staging. They click. It's not a real smooth real smooth transfer. You can really hear that clicking through there. But, you know, mix and match IRs with the preamps. The Guitaria has a lot of that, that flexibility. I can sit here and just dial in different sounds without needing the preamp and that IR pedal. Like a pedal board, you can add a couple of drives and some extra stuff to this. The Guitaria has this chorus that I don't love. It makes things quieter. But the phaser doesn't make it quieter. So uh, the way you deal with that with the guitar is you can save a preset and just make sure that that master volume is up a little bit louder. So that's the big difference between these units. This guitar is a little more standalone. The, the Mosque really needs something else. They're both priced around the same, so it can be a little bit confusing. They both look similar. They're, they're both called multi-effects, and they're both mini multi-effects, right? So, but the Guitaria, and then there's, there's, God, there's some other ones that are like this, that have all the built-in IRs and the recording direct to your phone capability or to your iPad or whatever, into your computer. You can go directly out of this. Of course, the Guitaria does have its own delay section as well. The delay and the modulation are tied to the same button here. So in order to bring that in, you have to bring the mix in. So see, now I turn them on, turn that mix off. And it's the same kind of a thing. If I put that modulation in the middle and then bring the mix up, it's just bringing in the delay. So that's how I would save that preset. And then it has, you know, a lot of time that you can get in it. Maybe not quite as... It's very digital sounding, very very much repeats everything, whereas this, the Mosque has a little bit more of an analog roll off. You hear how it just starts to trim that top end some, where the guitar is just straight up giving you a delay, taking your notes and repeating it. So you could set them both up. You could have one going quick, you know, and then one going a little bit uh, longer. Let's see if we can set that up. Let's set this one up to be real quick. And 
then of course with the Moschi you can really get this and get that whole thing. And you can't do that with the guitar. Yet. It just gets louder. So that's the difference. Some of the differences there, you know, you, if you're really into that tweaky kind of delay sound, the Mosque's where that's at for sure. You can bypass the IR altogether, add your own IR, and bring in, um, brought in that choral cab, so you get a different kind of sound. So, you know, even integrating these into, into another rig that you already have set up could be a real cheap little option just to get some different preamp sounds if you don't have something like the Flamma or some other preamp pedal. Let's <laughs> still go. about the guitar is once you're back into this kind of preset mode everything's locked out whatever you stored it's there so it's not that tweakable in the sense compared to the Mosky. it's it's save recall save recall kind of a thing until you find what you like whereas Mosky, you plug it into what you want and you tweak it you plug it into the next thing and you tweak it and you find what works right but you can use them together you know like you were saying <laughs> Yeah, bring out the bring out the best of both of them. So the, the Mosque is just a little bit more of a tweak and go, tweak and go kind of a thing and just roll with it. Whereas the guitar, you definitely got to spend some time getting your sounds, figuring out what you like, and then saving it. Or put it into this, hold these two buttons down for a second and put it in a stomp box mode. And then you're still kind of limited. You can't turn the reverb on or off without turning off the IR cab at that point. So you would then need, you know, something like the the coral cab in line and then you just turn off the iron yeah options options don't make you crazy <laughs> this you just you tweak you touch <laughs> you don't save anything and sometimes i like that sometimes i like that so you know you have to kind of figure well, what is it you're going to use it for so hopefully that helped uh kind of break down the differences between the two units um you know they they both have their merits for what they offer and using them together really expands the possibilities of each of them. I, I hope I was clear about that. Using this individually is great. Using this individually is great. They're definitely like apples and oranges here. They're not the same, um, but like a Reese's cup, they're two great tastes that taste great together. I'm sorry. It's me, Double D. Thanks for being here. If this is your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe. And if you like this video, Hit the like. I appreciate you being here. Take care.